Hi, welcome to The Peaceful Home. Today I have a transition from summer into fall thrift haul. I'm Teresa Elling. If you're new here, welcome. I post periodical thrift hauls because thrifting is one of the main ways I have furnished my home over the last 35 years. Next week's video will actually be the 10 things I look for when I go thrifting. I really scored big on artwork this time. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I actually got kind of mid-COVID uh, that I knew I was going to save for the fall. One is this tin. I love using these greens in the fall. This picture of a quail, it was $3, just beautiful coloring for fall. Just a couple of weeks ago, I went thrifting with my mother-in-law near Bass Lake, and she's one of my favorite thrifting partners. I always seem to find great things. I fell in love with this painting, had to have it. Sometimes you look at something, you walk away for a bit, and you're just drawn back to it. I thought this was gorgeous. I'm so excited to find a place in my home for this. Here's another great fall print with this beautiful olive green. And this is another one that I got last year, and I don't think I featured it anywhere. It's just a really cute sign, great fall colors, and of course it's perfect for my coffee bar. The last thing is this book of impressionist art, and uh, calendars like this are so inexpensive. This was a dollar for 12 prints of famous paintings, and they're just beautiful. It's so easy to cut these out and frame them. I also scored on dishes and glassware. My girls actually found this giant ball jar and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. I think it would make a great terrarium. I also grabbed another picture for my collection. I kind of feel like I never have enough of these. One teacup made in England that is beautiful and another in a pattern I've never seen, but this is Johnson Brothers, which is the same maker of my holiday dishes. I found this little tiny dome and it would be great for a succulent. I also have a hummingbird nest that would be a perfect fit for this. We'll see what I do with it. I also got a bag full of vintage thread on wooden spools and I just think these are beautiful. I have some spare bits of twine that I can wrap around some of these and I thought they'd look really pretty in my sewing room. I also picked up these wooden spools of twine. I found this bowl just in time. My regular salad bowl that I thrifted probably seven to eight years ago just got a chip in it. So this is a great size, great shape. What did I pay for this one? $2.79. I love this basket. I'll probably put a plant in it. It was $2. I'll explain in the next video my approach to clothing, but um, I found a couple of things that I love. Well, first off, this blouse. I love this color for fall and it's really comfortable. I also got this sweater and I think it's really cute. Nice and light, so it's perfect for fall. And then I picked up this scarf. It's extremely soft and a great neutral color for the winter. I've definitely saved the best for last. I had some birthday money burning a hole in my pocket when I went into my local Goodwill and I found this cabinet. It was a bit pricey, $40. Uh, it needs some work, the finish isn't great, but everything else is perfect. The hinges, all the detailed wood carvings on this, the beautiful curved legs, there are no chips or dings in this, and it's absolutely beautiful. I knew right away that I wanted it for my bedroom. Hopefully I will get to a bedroom redo in the spring, and that will include refinishing this beautiful piece. Also coming up will be a clean and decorate with me for fall where I will put some of these things to use in decorating my home. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of the Peaceful Home family. Thanks for watching and have a great day.